Hello, I'm Archibald Chesterfield III, one of the reporters on the Archie Luxury Channel, and today we're discussing the amazing Omega Flightmaster. The Omega Flightmaster, a piece of horological excellence. The series started in 1969 and was produced until around 1974. The original Amiga Flightmaster was the very first Amiga to feature the manual winding 910 movement, which was basically a heavily modified version of the 861 mechanical chronograph movement found in the Amiga Speedmaster Professional. The Omega Flightmeister was originally designed specifically for pilots. This differs to the Speedy, which was a designated racing timer and later adapted as an aviation watch. The Flightmeister has a direct connection to space flight. Cosmonaut Alexei Lenov wore a caliber 911 Flightmeister during training for the 1971, sorry, 1975 Joint American-Soviet Apollo Suvu's mission. Although the Flightmeister takes cues from the Speedmaster Mark series, it is a very unique looking piece. It has several features not commonly seen in the late 60s. It features a 43 mil case made from a single piece of steel, an independent GMT hand, 12 hour chronograph and an AM PM indicator. The seven hands, three subdials, three crowns, two pushes and a host of different colors make this a wonderfully offbeat wristwatch. It may seem that the functionality packed Flightmaster would have an overly busy dial, but it's actually quite the opposite. Omega put a lot of effort into the design of this superb wristwatch. The crown at 8, for example, has a black dot to match the black inner rotating bezel. At 10, the crown is accented with blue to indicate its control of the independent second time zone hand. Further, the pushes are either red, yellow or orange to match the particular example's chronograph hands. Off-color subdials make for quick identification and even the bezel has altering marks allowing you to easily read the chronograph down to one-fifth of a second. As we say in the Air Force, this thing is army proof. The manual winding caliber 911 was to a great extent similar but had a few had a few small second hands at the 9 position in place of the 910's GMT subdial. Some speculate the running seconds on the 911 came about because you couldn't immediately tell if the watch was actually running. Omega only used these calibers in the Flightmaster. The production numbers of the 910 and 911 are not well known, but let's just call them rare. An even rarer gold version of the 910 was also produced between 40 to 200 and some say even 300 examples. Seeing one would be the horological equivalent of finding a very rare piece. Obviously on the Archie Luxury Channel we show you two. We show you two fuckers. The Flightmaster itself is a unique chronograph. It created a cult following and its heritage can be seen in the X33 and Spacemaster Z33 today. The Flightmaster itself is an extremely popular sports watch for the true enthusiast. The Flightmasters are even cooler than Speedmasters in this environment. So if any of you have a Flightmaster, you are one cool fucker. 
Archibald Chesterfield III reporting on the Omega Flightmeister. We specialize in the repair of Rolex and Patek Philippe watches. We've been doing the same thing for more than 25 years. We have a Rolex technician certified by Rolex who actually used to work for the company for many years, like if we're doing the work on the factory. We completely disassemble the watch and we put it to work, like brand new condition. When you get the pre-owned watch, it's like if you're getting a brand new unit. The only difference is the money.